you know, used bookstores tend to have a little bit more character and a little bit more books that you wouldn't expect to find. So that's always appreciated. Well, a place like this has an unexpected variety. When it comes to really enjoying a book and really sitting down and, and digging into a book, I, I don't think I don't think e-readers are competitive with us at all. But the most urgent tale here isn't found in the stacks. This particular shop speaks volumes about the neighborhood in the city. We've been here 31 years, and it's been a, a wild, wonderful ride. Welcome to unoppressive, non-imperialist bargain books on Carmine Street in the village. Jim Drugas is the owner. We're unoppressive because we're basically very accessible in price. One of the many impressive things that people discover here is the actual story of the shop, the impression it's made over the years. It's been a community gathering place, a tourist destination, a meeting room for action and education. But the current storyline is one that's become all too familiar. The real problem is that the system is rigged in such a way that if you're not, you know, a giant chain, you're not just, you can't, you can't pay these rents. Those of us who have lived in the village a long time, it's just one more thing that is disappearing from the village. Last year, the bookstore owner says he and the new landlord were able to work out an agreement to stay for another year. But now the time is up. Jim Drugas doesn't want the story to end. He and the bookstore cat hope for another home. He has some ideas for the next chapter. We all had our favorite places that are gone um, over and over again. Um, I don't know what the solution is. It was a place to find everything from children's books to interesting biographies. Now they'll start to pack things up. They plan to be open for a few more days, planning a final day celebration on Saturday. They want to see what the theme will be, what happens next. In the village, Greg Mocker, Pix 11 News.